SMT Nation, we back. We've got a big time video for you all here today. Uh, we finally actually have a coverage map from AT&T on their website. I'll go ahead and link this for you guys. It'll be in the description box. And it's got the entire 5G Plus mapped out for you. 5G Plus, this is the N77 C-band for AT&T. This will also include their DoD spectrum as well because it's basically a two-part band. Okay, you've got the upper band, which is 3700, that's C-band. And then you have the lower band, I guess, 3450, that's the DoD. Together, collectively, they make N77. So you have 40 megahertz of the DoD, lower band. You have 40 megahertz of the, uh, well, currently of the C-band. Uh, that'll jump up to 80 megahertz here once the BNC blocks clear uh, up and coming next year. And, you know, we just want to take a look at the coverage map. Everybody's been looking for this stuff. They want to know how the build is going. And they also want to see how it compares to Verizon. So we're going to do both of those things for you here in this video. Okay, now just on first glance, this is just a state view across the entire country. You've got action across most of the major markets throughout the country. So you see a lot of action in California, right? I see Frisco. I see Sacramento. I see San Jose. I see Fresno. <laughs> LA. Do we got San Diego in there? We sure do. Okay, so you got 5G Plus out there. You got Vegas. You got Phoenix. Okay, so major markets in the Southwest. Don't forget Salt Lake City, Utah. A little bit in the Northwest with Portland and also Seattle. All right, so major markets are covered. Uh, you got some in Denver, and then you've got a little bit of representation in Oklahoma. Okay, Lawton, if you've been there, OKC. And then you get into Texas, well represented with the major markets, San Antonio, Dallas, Austin, and uh, and Houston. And I think also, um, what's down here? Galveston, if you've ever heard of such a place. I have. Uh, New Orleans is represented St. James Parish. I'm not sure uh, if that's just because, like, the New Orleans market. But then Florida, you got Orlando with some. Uh, let's see what else we got here. A little bit of Daytona Beach. Some Jacksonville in there as well. Okay, so major cities are covered. I see some Midwest action as well. I see some in Michigan with Detroit. I see some in Chicago. I see the CLE is in there. Obviously, you guys know I've been testing it. Some Youngstown action. There's some Columbus and then, of course, you got your major market action with New York City, Bronx, the boroughs, uh, Philadelphia, Boston, uh, you know, D.C. Let's take a look, actually. Let's zoom in on some of these areas, okay? So what I want to do is specifically zoom in on a state that I know and I can confirm whether or not this build is actually as substantial as they're making it. All right, now, if you go to a state level, you guys will see the state lines here for Ohio, kind of this outline here. And you've got um, Cincinnati, Columbus. All right, this is going to be Pittsburgh here. Uh, but you do have Youngstown, Warren area, and then you also have Akron. And then you got Cleveland with well-built C-band, uh, N77 for AT&T. Now, they put the plus sign really, really you know, restricted there because once you get outside of these cities, the C-band build is kind of scarce right now. Okay, so uh, the regular 5G, which is DSS shared LTE spectrum, or it could be the dedicated low band 5G. And then, of course, the light blue, the very light blue, is 4G LTE. And if, if you ever see green, that might be partner coverage or roaming, okay, if they've got an agreement there. I want to go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you guys here. We're going to zoom in on the CLE, so then we should see the color change. And that really dark blue is the 5G+. plus. Okay, now this is Cleveland proper. It extends... You know, just in this one segment here. And then once you go outside of Cleveland, you get into the suburban areas, areas like Lakewood, which I've tested before. You guys know about that area. Some of the eastern suburbs here like Euclid and Wycliffe all the way out to like Mayfield Heights, Warrensville Heights. I actually used to work out there back in the day. And then when you go like southeast, the Twinsburg, Macedonia area, and then you get like North Royalton, Strongsville, uh, Parma Heights, and then like out west, like North Ridgeville, Avon. Those are on the outskirts of the county. So from like here down to about here, this is all Cuyahoga County. Once you get out of Cuyahoga County, now you're going to be kind of like in Lake County over here. You're going to be in Lorraine County on this side. And then down here, you're going to be in Mentor or excuse me, Medina County. Okay. And I've tested and all that in these places. 
and they do have a decent build, folks. This is pretty good. Okay, remember, they just started building this stuff in the spring. I didn't really see start, you know, AT&T start to build until probably April-ish. Okay, so this is a pretty nice splattering of coverage. There's still some areas that don't have it, right? We're expecting those to kind of happen pretty soon. Uh, like you got this gap here in Lakewood. You got this gap here in Fairview Park. You got a bit of a gap here in Westlake. Uh, but you'll notice that there are some pretty good, you know, pretty good density here. Parma Heights is covered. Parma, Middleburg Heights, Independence, Valley View. Look at all these burbs. And then here's Cleveland proper. Like all this area here. I'd say probably, yeah, this is probably a good view. All this is Cleveland proper here. Okay. They're covered. They're mostly covered. All right. So that's pretty good stuff from AT&T. Uh, what I want to kind of show you guys, though, is I want to show you from a national build. I want to compare this to Verizon. All right. So um, I'm actually going to zoom out just a smidge. Okay. I think this is probably going to be the best I could do. All right. Like this much. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Verizon map. And I want you to notice how many markets AT&T has. Right, you guys can actually count these. Some states have like five markets. Some states have like six markets. Some states have two markets. You know, it just kind of depends. I'm going to bring in the Verizon coverage map for you guys. We're just going to slide it into its place. And you'll see that there are some similarities. Similarities in Texas. Right? But you see more action in certain places like California. A little bit more action in Florida. Now, AT&T probably has better 5G plus build depth in certain markets in Florida. But in terms of number of markets, it looks like Verizon might have more. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay. And you will see, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight different markets in Florida are covered. I think AT&T was closer to seven, maybe. Here's the Ohio build. For us to kind of focus on. Very similar to what AT&T is doing, but there is something that's noticeably different here. Okay, so both AT&T and Verizon had Columbus build, and then they also had Cincinnati build. But I think it's a fair evaluation to maybe look at Cleveland to see how it compares. Okay, so here's Cuyahoga County. All right, it's right here. You'll see that most of the county is covered. You just got a couple of spots here where you guys will see the the lighter red, so that's going to be your DSS 5G and your LTE. But the rest of it's all covered. They've they've built out pretty nicely, folks. All right, they've done a nice job. Um, here's a view of most of the suburban areas. I just want to see if I can set up a view where we can directly compare AT&T and see how they map, how they compare. Okay, so that puts Cuyahoga County in direct view. Let's go ahead and do that here for at and I want to do the county view as well. Okay, so mm, a little bit more of a zoom. Okay, so here's the county lines. You guys can see it in this whitish area. Let's see if we can do one more. Yeah, this is pretty close, I think. Uh, okay, there's the county view, there's the county view. All right, so if, if I'm comparing the two, Based on the mapping, I think Verizon probably has a slightly better build. And I think it's only because of one thing. Verizon started before them. Verizon started building in like November, December, and then they launched in January. AT&T was kind of late to the party. Basically, Verizon just has a few sites to upgrade, right? You got a few probably in this area here on the western part of the county, right? A few over here in the southwest. A few in the south. You know, it's just it's just a couple of little pockets. I think from AT&T, you've got several little pockets here. You've got very similar pockets. Then you also have some on the interior. Areas where Verizon pretty much has those build-outs, right? Uh, so if I was going to put a number to it, I don't know. What do you guys think? Verizon's about, what, 60, 70, 75% done. Uh, let's, let's dock them 10% for coverage maps usually lying. Let's say that they're about 60% of the way through, okay? 60, 65%. I'd say AT&T is probably closer to like 50, 55%, right? They're just a little bit behind them. 
Okay, but it's pretty impressive considering that Verizon has been building the C-band for a few months longer than AT&T. But I told you guys, be on the lookout for AT&T. Once they start in your market, they hit the ground running. They get traction and they go. Uh, and, th- and they really do have a good pace. When does Verizon reach the same pops covered of mid-band to T-Mobile? We'll see. Their pace does appear to be faster than what T-Mobile has done the last couple of years in Ohio and in these markets. Uh, but T-Mobile is going to maintain a lead for a while. Uh, I do expect, particularly in my market, that gap to close pretty quickly. But nationally, T-Mobile is way out ahead. Right? They've been building for a couple of years, two and a half years. Mo- the other two carriers are playing catch up. But we have respectable pace from both AT&T and Verizon. So expect you know Verizon to continue to close the gap with T-Mobile. Expect AT&T to do the same. I think currently Verizon has more C-band built than AT&T. It's probably closer than we think, though, and it would not shock me if they were neck and neck here within the next few months in the existing markets where they both have N77. New markets, who knows? AT&T and Verizon are going to play priority. You know, they're going to just, who knows, you know, what those plans are. We're not on the interior knowing what's going on in behind closed doors with those carriers, but uh, AT&T impresses me, folks. This is one hell of a build. Verizon impresses me. This is one hell of a build. I know that there are probably some people who are, this is going to probably, it's probably going to make them sad, but it's the truth. My market in Cleveland, the Cleveland market, the Cuyahoga County, as well as Ohio, and generally speaking here, both AT&T and Verizon's dedicated mid-band 5G builds are faster than what T-Mobile's was and is. They spend more money. It's just a simple calculus. There's nothing wrong with what T-Mobile is doing. I think they deserve a shout out for the build out for their 5G UC. I think they've done a great job of it. They really have tried to densify it as best as they can, wisely spending the money and how they see fit. But big bank, little bank, you know, it's just, you know, Verizon's got a $10 billion CapEx dedicated to C-band. at and spending $24 billion this year on C-band, you know, or uh, on the on the network. With dedicated C-band probably stretching somewhere between like 6 to $8 billion dollars, just this year and next year alone, you know, they're probably going to do a little bit on a third year just to fill out. You know, it's just it's just spending. That's all it is. It's just it's a simple calculus. You spend a lot of money on the network, you can upgrade more. When you have a limited CapEx, you, you kind of have to prioritize and allocate and kind of stretch those, do- those dollars, you know. Uh, so if I had to rank them, I would say um, T-Mobile built out their 5G UC with a, with a third pace. I think AT&T is actually moving faster. But again, T-Mobile started first, so that's why they have more built. It's just I think AT&T is faster. I think Verizon is faster too. It's faster than T-Mobile's build was. All right. Um, It took basically two years to do what Verizon did in one year. Uh, And even basically AT&T too. So there's a clear pace difference between these companies. It's just who spends more money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the look at the maps. Uh, and you know what? Since I used it, I'll go ahead and link both the AT&T and the Verizon maps for you guys. If you want me to do a comparison, do a similar deep dive comparing AT&T and Verizon to T-Mobile's 5G UC, I can do that for you. Let me know by liking this video, commenting that you want to see that in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more. And turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. I'll leave you with a positive word from the SMT. Every new day is an opportunity to be great, so go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.